How many ways can you paint eight tiles using yellow and black so that no two black tiles are adjacent? Yellow, yellow, and yellow, black are fine, but black, black is not allowed. With one tile, there are two options, yellow or black. Two tiles, black, yellow, yellow, black, or yellow, yellow. So three ways. Now for three tiles, let's count smartly. If the last tile is yellow, we're left with two tiles, and we know that two tiles can be painted in three ways. But if the last one is black, the tile before it must be yellow. That leaves just one tile, and there are two ways to paint a single tile. So the number of ways to paint three tiles is the sum of the ways to paint two tiles and one tile. That's five. Similarly, for four tiles, if the fourth tile ends in yellow, we have three remaining, which we found can be painted in five ways. But if it ends in black, the second last must be yellow, leaving two tiles to paint, which can be done in three ways, making the total eight. Notice a pattern? For end tiles, the nth tile can be either black or yellow. If it's yellow, we're left with n minus one tiles, which we already solved in the previous case. If it's black, the tile before it must be yellow. These two are fixed, so we just paint in minus two tiles, which we solved in the case before the previous one. So by adding the ways to paint the n minus one and n minus two tiles, we get the ways to paint n tiles. So for five tiles, the total ways to paint must be the ways to paint four tiles, that's eight, plus the ways to paint three tiles, that's five, which gives 13. For six tiles, 13 plus eight equals 21. For seven tiles, 34 ways. And for eight tiles, we have 55 total ways. Counting and spotting patterns like these aren't just fun, they're powerful math skills. Can you tell what this famous sequence is called? At QMath, such problems are an integral part of our curriculum, designed to build mathematical thinking and make kids math fit.